Hello, MacGyver Sharon here. How are you guys doing today? I keep having a clunk, a clunk, whenever I hit a bump in the road, or even the lines on the highways. I keep thinking it's my shocks, yada yada. And I was just looking at it the other day when I had my tires turned all the way, and I noticed these two little things that had little things like rubber grommets. <laughs> so I looked at my book and it's the sway bar links. So I went and bought some sway bar links and today I'm gonna try and change my own sway bar links. So let me tell you what I got so far. Actually, let me show you, that's better. And let me get the sun out of my eyes. I still haven't got the second solar panel up. I got 110 hours in in the last two weeks trying to get that gas money to go back east, so I ran out of time today to get the other solar panel up, so I'm going to do the sway bar links. Okay, hold on. Let me show you my stuff. Okay, so I looked up a video on YouTube from A1 Auto on how to do this. They make it look so simple. I don't think it's that simple. But I got a list. And I borrowed this jack and that torque wrench thingy. And all these other parts are mine. And first and foremost, safety first. Doo -doo -doo. So I'm at my friend's house, the usual suspect. First, coffee. So this is all the tools on the list. I don't think it's going to be as easy as the video says. I'll include a link there. And I also bought the um, links at AutoZone instead of on from A1 Auto because, well, I'm trying to save money. All right, so this is my beginning. And let's give it a shot. My big, beautiful red truck. Messy. Where's my road pro? Mmm, want some pizza breads. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. This is going to be like a how-to, hopefully, hopefully a successful how-to. Alright, I'll check back. First thing I'm going to do is take off my tires. Good morning. It did not work out last night. My tire iron, I couldn't get the tires off. I had to go buy one. So, this is what I had. These, uh, they fall down and fold up. Piece of crap. Don't buy them. <clears throat> Not gonna help you on a truck or a van. Unless you got those tiny itty bitty tire vans. I had to go buy one of these. Now I'm poor. No more groceries. <laughs> I got the tire off this morning. And there's a lot more going on in here. A lot of issues. I got goop everywhere. Oh, I can see one of the connectors is blah. And you see all that? Goop, that's on one side, not on the other. I don't understand it. Guess I'll have to be Googling. Anyway, this is the sway bar in relation to your tire. It's right there. Still on the tire goes right here. I'll hang it back up. See that? So every time I hit a bump or a line in the road, put the weight down off of that jack. Oh yeah, those little blue jacks that I had, jack stands, useless. I had those from back when I still had my motorcycles and my little Toyota and stuff and things. So I borrowed these and that. Yeah. But look at these. These are the sway bar links. Not good. This it's all cracked. So I'm gonna replace this one. Then I'm gonna put the tire back on. And then I'm gonna replace the other one. First I'm gonna see if I can even get these off, because it looks pretty tight. I'll follow the links instructions, the uh, YouTube video from 1A Auto or A1A Auto. I'll include the link. 
All right, so let me do my monkey wrench thing. BRB. All right, I'm back. This is a pain in the derriere. So I sprayed the nut on the bottom. On the bottom. With that goopy stuff, it's supposed to loosen bolts, but it's taking forever. Here's the old one. It had this kind of thing on it. So it went right through there. And this nut right here, oh man, what a PIA. That's all busted up too. And then, so if you watch the video, they have a different kind, but and they're also coming up from the bottom. Whoa, I don't want to get oil on my phone. So this is how it goes. You got your, your nut or your bolt. Your bolt, where's the bolt? Your bolt. But you have to put a washer, a rubber, and then underneath another rubber, and then another washer. And then you gotta slide slide the sleeve in between in between your sway bar and whatever freak this is called. And then trying to get that bolt this hole on your sway bar with the bolt and the spacer and another washer and a spacer and then through this thing I've been having to pull the sway bar pull and pull and lift up and pull and uh, I know the video says you don't have to take your tire off but there's no way in heck I could have done this I even had a, a, a fella come by walking his dog and try to help me loosen it and he couldn't do it so I just kept at it hoping I wasn't stripping it I'm not done yet <laughs> I still got one more. This. Oh, we got that top, bottom, the washers, the spacer. I have the washer, the spacer, or grommet, rubber, whatever you want to call it. And now on the bottom, I have to fit. Another one of those. Video upside down. I have to fit that on there. And then I gotta put the last washer on there. And then I gotta figure out how to get them close enough to tighten this little itty bitty bolt. So wish me luck. Um, BRB or uh, I think it's gonna require a little bit of cussing and swearing. I think that's the only way to get things done. All right, the boot camp 101. Cuss and swear while you're doing it, and it will go a lot quicker and smoother, and less stress. <laughs> so another thing that the, I think the car companies might do this on purpose, they always put things in the way. So I'm supposed to get this bolt pushed down through there, and yet they put this right in the way, so I can't hammer it. So if any of y'all's trying that, what I did was, I took this little extension and I laid it on there and then I took a hammer here and went boom, 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 boom until it finally went down in. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. It looks so easy on that video, but it's not. Oh, and another thing, the wonderful gentleman at AutoZone. <laughs> I told them I needed to replace both my sway bar links. I had no problem. They went and got me a box, brought it out. I didn't read the box. They looked it up by my bin. There's only one in here. So you know what I gotta do? I gotta take the whole vehicle back down after I get this one in. Then I gotta go back to the auto store and buy another one and then come back here and put the whole truck up on the jacks and stuff again. Gotta love them. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I am unable to get enough threads off the end of that bolt to get the nut on the end. On the end of here, underneath there. So what I'm going to attempt to do, because I don't know how this is assembly, it's going to work. I put the tire back on, and now I'm going to lower the car a little bit, and I'm hoping that this 
spring will compress and I can push this lower but I don't know if this is just going to move exactly with it or not but I have no choice but to try so let's give it a shot okay putting the tire back on did not work it's like the bolt is too short or something so what did I ended up doing was let's get a view I ended up tightening it down without the last washer underneath. Uh, okay, I can't get out. And after I did that, it compressed these. It compressed these little rubber grommets when I tightened it down without the last washer on the back side underneath it. And then I loosened it back up and they stayed compressed a little bit. And so then I put the washer on and then I tightened them both. So it's on there, but this bolt is a different size than the one I took off. And the one on the bottom of this is a different size than this one. So I guess that'll teach me to buy the, the less expensive. So ah, there it is. That is the sway bar uh, link with the grommets. And I haven't got to the other side because the guys only sold me one when I asked for two. I assumed there was two in the box. Here is the underneath. So I couldn't get uh, my finger. I couldn't get the washer and the bolt on here because the threads didn't stick out far enough. That's what I was saying. So I forgot about the washer. I just hammered and hammered and then got this nut on, tightened it, compressed the little red rubber grommets, and then I loosened it. And then I put the washer on and tightened it back up. So I hope they're not too tight. So now. I am going to put my tire back on for the um, same time. No, <laughs> for the second time today. I'm going to take it for a drive. I'm going to go to the auto store and I have to buy one for the other side. It's going to rain. I don't know if I'll get to it today. It kind of put a damper on my second solar panel installation, but I got to work on the curtain rods. I got so many projects to do. So as long as I'm moving forward. Anyway. That's my lessons for today. Cussing, swearing, hammering, off and on. Eventually you'll get it. <laughs> gotta work with what you got. And you gotta learn your own skills. So, I hope this helps somebody. In the meantime, peace, love, and understanding, everybody. Y'all take care of yourselves out there. <laughs>